Steve Cruz from the one and only Mr. Gadget here. The subject, light emitting diode or LED lighting, so keep watching. LED bulbs can be used in homes, offices, and industrial settings. They're not yet ideal for all applications, but they are ideal for some inside areas. It's not as easy to choose which is best as it should be, and I'll address that. Like it or not, standard bulbs like this, the ones that have been around for over 100 years, are being phased out. And the reasons are simple. They use too much electricity, they can get extremely hot, and they don't last very long. The average rated life of a standard 60 watt bulb is 1,000 hours or less. And the heat they produce, well, that translates into higher cooling costs. We've all been coerced into switching to compact fluorescent lamps or CFLs like this. They do use less energy than a standard bulb, only about 13 watts for an equivalent amount of light as the, the old 60 watt bulb. They don't get as hot and they typically will last at least eight times longer than a standard bulb. But all is not rosy with CFLs. Many consumers complain about the look of the light from CFLs. CFLs don't start at full brightness and they appear to flicker. And you may have noticed that over time CFLs lose their brightness. Of course, there's the issue of toxic mercury inside every CFL as well. However, CFLs aren't necessarily a bad choice. In fact, in most instances, they are still the best way to go since a 60 watt equivalent CFL offers the least upfront cost. They can be found for under a buck. But what if you want to leave a light on all the time? And how about bulbs that are in inaccessible, hard to reach places such as in a high ceiling or track lighting that you may have to pay someone to change? Is there a better solution? In some instances, yes. LED light bulbs can be a cost-effective and excellent choice, but how do you choose an LED bulb? It's not easy. On the plus side, there is no toxic mercury in any LED bulb, and they all start instantly at full brightness, and they don't flicker. But here's the challenge. All LED bulbs are not created equal. Most claim a 25,000 hour lifespan, which applies only when used four hours per day. Isn't that crazy? Some 60 watt equivalent LED bulbs use 12.5 watts, almost the same as CFLs. I've seen some LED bulbs lose their brightness just like CFLs, only they do it faster. I think there is deliberately confusing and misleading information from most manufacturers. That's why I'm making this video. There's only one LED bulb I know that's rated to last 50,000 hours, is guaranteed for five years, and is not expected to fail in that time even if left on 24 hours a day. This bulb doesn't come from GE, Sylvania, Philips, or any other manufacturer you know. The bulb is the Geo bulb from the C Crane Company. You've probably never heard of them, and you won't find them in stores, at least not today as I'm recording this. The Geo bulb was designed from the ground up by the C Crane Company in California. With efficiency and longevity in mind, the cool white Geo bulb has a light output similar to a 60 watt standard bulb, but here's the surprise. It barely sips electricity using only 7 watts. That's about half the electricity of those efficient CFLs. And remember, it's going to last for 50,000 hours. Try finding a CFL that can come even close. Sure, the initial cost is considerably higher than a 13 watt CFL. But let's compare the operating costs. At 12 cents per kilowatt hour, a single standard bulb using 60 watts of electricity left on 24 hours a day will cost about $61 per year to operate. A comparable CFL using 13 watts of electricity will cost about $13 per year. But the C-Crane Geo bulb, energy sipping 7 watts of power, will cost just $7. That's right, $7 for an entire year, and that's if it is never switched off. And remember, a standard 60 watt bulb typically is rated for a lifespan of about 1,000 hours. A 13 watt CFL averages 7,500 hours before it fails completely. The Geo bulb, using its 7 watts, is guaranteed for 5 years and rated for 50,000 hours of continuous use. Nobody can match that. No other manufacturer today gives us an LED bulb with this much light using so little energy. 
Where others have failed, I think C Crane understands what consumers want and need in LED indoor light bulb technology, and the company has the most realistic information in their specifications. The geobulb is best suited for downward facing applications such as recessed and track lighting. For maximum apparent brightness, the geobulb outputs most of its light from the top of the bulb. But I wouldn't be surprised if you also like the amount of light when it's in a table or a floor lamp and the bulb itself looks like a high tech standard bulb. But what about the color? In my experience, I like and prefer the brightness and color of the geobulb in cool white but it isn't the only choice. The geobulb comes in three color temperatures representing cool white, soft white, and warm white. The cool white is the brightest and most efficient of the three geobulb models available and the one most like daylight sun in color. This is the one that outputs an amount of usable light most closely resembling a 60 watt standard bulb. When I look at cool white standard bulbs or even cool white CFLs today after Having the geobulb at home, the light from those others looks kind of dirty and unnatural by comparison. The fact is, though, it really doesn't matter if you choose a geobulb in cool white or soft white or even in warm white. They all appear to emit a similar amount of light to my eyes, especially after getting used to them at home. Here they all are, lined up from cool to soft to warm white. Although the colors look different from each other, with all three lined up as you see here, you'll probably choose the one color you like best. You'll soon appreciate the amount of light and the money you're saving. For more than 22 years, I've known, trusted, and recommended C Crane as the best catalog retailer with the best products and the best customer service too. It's my go-to company for high-performance radios and now for high-performance LED lights, and I never get complaints from recommending the C Crane company. The point I want to impress upon you is to compare the different manufacturers' LED bulb specifications when you shop. LED bulbs from any other maker today cannot deliver the goods like these geobulb LEDs. It's a bold statement, but I'm confident it's true, and you know I would never steer you wrong. The final point I want to make is that there's still a good reason to use CFLs. If you need lots of light, way more than a 60 watt equivalent, get a higher wattage CFL that's a 100 watt equivalent or more. This is the most economical way to go today, but some of those bulbs are quite expensive too. I've tried to give you straight talk and useful information about LED bulbs. I hope you're as excited about this technology as I am. Get more information about Geobulb online at geobulb.com. You can also call C Crane at 1 800 522 8863. That's 1 800 522-8863. You'll be treated with respect by the helpful staff that's located in Northern California. They love to answer questions and you'll never experience high pressure sales tactics. I know you'll be impressed. You just have to be. I'm Steve Crucian, the one and only Mr. Gadget. Thanks for watching.